Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Dottles. Um, I've been trying to get back into doing regular videos, so what I decided to do, since something <laughs> keeps getting in the way, I said just start doing vlogging, uh, daily vlogs, and uploading them. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep them under 10 minutes. And just talk about my day and what I did and different things. Um, and I have filled out my, uh, can you see? my planner for the week so hopefully I'll get some crochet tutor tutorials out I can't talk uh, this week too so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna try to vlog every day till the end of the year well there may be days I don't vlog because of other things going on but that's what I'm gonna try to do um, today I went walking with and so, so today is November 7th it's a Monday uh, 2022 <laughs> Uh, I went walking for, for my walk with the, the dog that I take for walks. Um, and since the time changed, it gets dark earlier, so I was afraid I wouldn't be able to walk as far. Uh, but we did get back. You know, the sun was starting to set. But we made it, so I'm glad of that because I didn't want to miss our walks. We walk about three times a week. And we might not get to walk Wednesday because it's supposed to be raining, possibly. So... Um, today on my, I, I'm, I'm trying to do my planner and say what I'm going to do each day and see how it goes, right? So I can figure out what, what works best for me based around my, what else I have going on. Um, and today I have listed as a free day in the afternoon because I went for the walk and typically, a lot of times on Monday, I wind up having to go get my son from town because he works till six or something like that. I didn't have to do that today, but his schedule varies a little bit so um but free day just means i get to pick what i want to work on whether it be something for the business or something for me uh and so i'm gonna continue last night i started working on a hat a crochet i haven't crocheted in forever um i know i want to finish up the pattern for the cozy miss murder mystery it's not a hat this is a scarf i started a hat and i didn't like it so i did a this is going to be a scarf. I think I said hat. Anyway. And, and I do intend on finishing that up. I'm trying to, like I said, get back on a, a, a schedule that works for me with everything else I have going on. <laughs> uh, so, this is a free pattern on linebrand.com. I'll put the links down below. Uh, some of this textures yarn I have. I have two skeins of it. I don't think they make this anymore. This is called Ocean Waves. I did sell some bigger packs of this in my shop. There's still yarn dish stash in there. If y'all hadn't checked that out, so go check it out. There's a lot of mini, mini maker bag clubs up, and they're discounted. They will be discounted through the end of the year, the older ones. Um, so go check them out and get them with or without yarn. Uh, I won't be doing that club next year, uh, but I do have some fun stuff coming up. But uh, this is a free pattern for the textures are on linebrand.com if you happen to have some. It's an eyelet scarf. I was making the eyelet hat, but it was just frustrating me for some reason. So I switched to the scarf when I realized I had enough yarn to do that. So that's what I'm going to work on this evening while I watch TV. I've been watching, re-watching Criminal Minds. Um, so I recently got a Paramount Plus subscription Mostly to watch uh, Georgia football because <laughs> it comes on CBS sometimes. Um, but yeah, I love Criminal Minds. I used to watch it all the time. I haven't watched it in forever. So I'm going to start at the beginning. They got some kind of Criminal Minds Evolution coming out Thanksgiving weekend or something like that. So I'm going to keep watching it till that happens. Yay. All right. And last time I talked to y'all, I was talking about the stuff going around my lips. I feel like you can see it a little bit today, but it's been gone. It hadn't really been, been flaring up. I found this stuff. I'll put a link down below for it. And y'all, I don't know if this is going to be forward or backwards because I'm not editing these before I upload them. So it may be backwards. Uh, we'll see. Um, but it's really helped my foot too. And I told my doctor about it when I went because... I had a lot of reviews about the same issue I was having. Um, I like this one because it, it has moisturizers in it and it, it stops the itch, which is the biggest problem for me, the itch. So I got this off of Amazon, I'm pretty sure. So I'll 
put a link to that if you want to check it out. Is that from? Excuse me. Like I just ate a walking taco. Have y'all ever ate walking tacos before? They're really good. If you don't know what it is, you basically crunch up a bag of Doritos or Fritos, and you put taco toppings on it, and you can walk around and eat it out of the bag. It's called a walking taco. But we did those um, for the football game Saturday. It was good. But um, I decided I wanted to get a bunch of different advent calendars this year to open up during uh, the holidays or during December. Uh, some of them will be for the whole 24 months and some of them will be only 12, 24 months for the whole 24 days. Some will be for 12 days. I got two in today. Y'all, I had one that was for socks. And this is what you get for late night uh, shopping because I got had I thought about this late at night when I was supposed to be sleeping for some reason. And I went walking today, so if everything's all messy, that's why. I don't know why I had to throw that in, but it is. Anyway, these will be kind of random, y'all. I'm tired. But, uh, I thought I had ordered women's Marvel socks. An advent calendar for women's Marvel socks. Late at night from Target. <laughs> and... I didn't look at the email where it said, you know, you ordered this, because I didn't even yeah, think about it. But when it said it shipped, I looked at it, and it said it was shipping girls' Disney Princess socks advent calendar. And I was like, that's not what I ordered. I looked at it, and that is what I ordered. Somehow, some way, I managed to order girls' Disney Princess socks. Well, I am a woman. I am not a girl. And I have big feet, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I wound up giving it to a friend. But, uh. I thought that was hilarious. I was like, how did I do that? How did I manage to do that? But anyway, I, I, I opted not to try again <laughs> for that one. I will find something else. Uh, but these two came in today. And these I ordered off of Walmart.com. I'll put links to them down below. Um, these are both uh, ornament kind of ones. I'm going to try to get some food ones. They have Aldi's in Albany now that's about 30 minutes from me. So I'm going to try to get there because they had, they look like they had some fun food ones. Um, so this one, this first one is a gnome for the holidays advent calendar. It's like a book. And you open it up. I left the plastic on the inside because I'm not going to do this for the holidays. This one you can actually see all the ornaments first. There's little pop-out ones, and it comes with the cording for the ornaments. You can hang them on your tree each day when you pop one out. And I think it has some kind of, um, I think that it has, oh, well, maybe it doesn't. I, I was thinking it maybe it had some kind of words behind it, but we'll find out when we open it up if it does or not. Uh, so this one is a 24 month one. I don't remember the prices on them, so I'll try to put that down in the description too. But this is the gnome for the holidays one, which is I thought it was really cute. I love gnomes, y'all. And so this one's a little different for me, uh, but I I have watched this movie before, and I think it's kind of cool. So this is a Nightmare Before Christmas advent calendar. And this is a book. So this is a collector's item, I suppose. Um, but this one's really cool because when you open it up, there's a tree that pops up out the center. And then you can see the little numbered tabs inside here that you open up. And you hang things on the tree as you go along. And then there's a, a booklet that you open up when you start that tells you stuff about it. So... I thought that one was really cool. The illustration is really nice. My son really liked this one, actually. He said, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I thought it had figurines in it for some reason when I bought it, but it's it's like it's a little hard to you know, you hang on it and stuff, but it's still kind of cool, the whole pop-up book thing. Like I said, it's a hardback book. Um, I want to say that I paid $35 for this one. Uh, this one was a little more. But like I said, I thought for some reason it had figurines in it. But it is definitely a collectible item and something you put on your bookshelf um, and, and reuse it every year. So that's pretty cool. And the, the gnome ornament one, I can use the ornaments every year. So that's that's neat to me. So uh, the next ones I get will be 
have some little gifts. Um, if y'all seen any that y'all think would be cool, y'all let me know, and I'll um, I'll try to uh, look them up. I know that Arteza has some. Now their bigger ones are they, that are 24 months are like are 24 months. Lord have mercy. That are 24 days are 80 dollars, and I, but I think they have one for 45. That's 12. I don't know. It has art supplies you open up every day. But I'm trying to keep them. I don't, I don't think this gnome one was but like 10 or something like that. So, uh, you know, and they have some food ones and stuff at Aldi's. And hopefully I'll get over there to check that out. So, um, I think I'm going to end this now because uh, I don't want to make them too long since I'm going to do them daily. I don't want to make them. So I'm sure there'll be days when they might be longer. Like if I'm doing something more interesting, I can film. Um, I would have filmed in my little fabric corner, but there's there's quite a mess over there, and I can't get over there right now. So <laughs> there's my chair, my other chair, and boxes and just stuff everywhere, y'all. So yeah, y'all go ahead and check out the shop. There's there's stuff in there. I will have more bags coming. There are some bigger bags in there now. Uh, the two Halloweeny ones I put up, the only two I managed to get done. Oh, the sentence is gonna be a little bit longer because I was gonna tell you why I didn't manage to get. Any more Halloween ones up? Hold on, just a second. I had to, I had to wipe my nose. My nose starts running sometimes when I talk, and it's cold. It gets colder, or warmer, whatever. It was like eighty something degrees today here, but I decided to burn a pile of stuff in my backyard one day, one night, one evening, Friday evening, this month, this past month, and I went to pull the garden hose out, you know, to have just in case, you know. And it had a kink in it, and I pulled it real hard. Yo, the whole pipe came out from under my house. <laughs> We're talking about a 10-foot pipe. Water pipe. And I was like, because I just kind of stared at it. It broke off at the T to another pipe that was under it. My house has a crawl space under it. And I was like, what? what just happened? And then I was like, oh, my goodness. And I went to the, there's a spigot on the other side of my house. And as soon as I turned it to see, what, if it, it just blew off that other spigot from the pressure. So then the water was just shooting out the side of my house. This is like 9 o'clock at night. Luckily, my son was here because he came out and said, what happened? And I told him. And I got this fire going. I mean, it was a big bonfire kind of because I had a pile of stuff because I live in the country. So I had to fill up five-gallon buckets of water from the water gushing outside of my house while my son looked for the water turn-off valve. And go over there to get it put out because uh, I didn't want to leave it burning while we tried to fix the water. <laughs> and then he got the water cut off and the fire wasn't quite out. Me and him wound up digging a trench around it and putting dirt on it forever trying to get that thing. Just didn't want to go out, I'm going to tell y'all. And so then I spent the next day, which was a Saturday, up under my house fixing pipes after I went to Home Depot about three times pipe size differences and all kinds of stuff just just craziness yeah that was fun it was an experience I, I feel like I'm a plumber now and then messed up the shower for a minute and then have pressure and that and then my toilets which haven't been working right suddenly started working right and then it messed up the pumps in my toilet I'm sure there must have been a leak under there for a while is why it came off in the first place I just didn't know it and uh I wound up having to redo the toilet guts, which the inside of the toilet thing, I had to take the whole back off and blah, 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 put a new pipe in. Because we was like, why is the toilet leaking? Because the whole pile of toilet paper beside the toilet was wet. Like a brand new pack of toilet paper, pretty much. Like 10 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> what happened is that when the water pressure came back up in the house, the, it messed up the pump in the toilet, so it was continually running. And there's an overflow pipe in the toilet, if you didn't know, which is supposed to be an inch below the handle on the toilet to keep it from leaking out the handle on the toilet. That's what happened Which, when I finally figured out where the water was coming from. It was getting up above that where the handle goes through your toilet and leaking out there onto the toilet paper because the overflow tube was too high in the toilet. Yeah, I, I feel like I told my friends that I felt like I was getting a plumber's crack. 
<laughs> anyway, that that's what happened in October. It was fun. So much fun fixing toilets and piping under my house. And it's fixed now. It works now, which is great. And I'm glad I could fix it and everything. But that that's part of what kept me from <laughs> getting any more Halloween stuff out. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go for today. I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Uh, if I keep talking, I'll talk forever. I had some other stuff I was going to do, but I can just do it tomorrow since I'm going to do it every day. Um, Y'all remember to live life creatively and uh, pull your pants up so you don't have plumbers crack, okay? <laughs>